A little video on how the F-16, uh, the DCS F-16 autopilot controls work, or rather maybe don't work the way that you might want them to, they don't the way that I want them to, and um, why exactly I'm not sure, but won't be uh, discussing that. Let's just take a look at what does happen and how to work around it. So let's go ahead and zoom in here, and the, um, the roll works uh, works fine. So you can map uh, your three position switch if you have one directly to that and I have a three position uh, I have a Warthog that I'm going to flip the switch on it right now and I can go to altitude hold I can go back to center it goes off and add a altitude hold. So it works fine when you're on the ground wait on wheels but take off and it does not and uh, so let's just demonstrate that and then we'll look at the workaround. Got a little fast there. Let's go ahead and turn away from that SA-11 site. Alright. That should be good. Okay. Now that we're weight off wheels, I'm going to flip that same switch. Altitude hold, fine. Back to center, nothing. Attitude hold, fine. Back to center, nothing. I do have a disengaged switch. But that's, you know, that's uh, a lot of switches there. Maybe you want it on just one like I do. So let's take a look at uh, how that works. First, we're going to go to the controls. And I do need to disable my uh, switch for the Warthog because that does interfere with my uh, Arduino switches. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and uh, just clear these. And you'll notice over under the keyboard, um, column that I've added some controls and those are what we're going to be using with uh, the Arduino and voice attack rather than a direct uh, joystick mapping in here I'm, uh, I'm I'm performing some things in voice attack and we'll take a look at those but first let's look at how it works okay obviously now my the switch I've disabled but I'm going over to my Arduino switch I'm going to altitude hold back to center uh, it does go back to center. Attitude hold. And so those work how I want. Unlike the other one. So let's just take a look at how that is set up. You already saw my keyboard mappings. So we're just going to drag a uh, voice attack over here. And we're going to take a look at those. Alright. So uh, joystick 3, by the way, is my Arduino stick. And uh, so what exactly is happening here? Well, whenever I press that button... Uh, then I send that control A, which you might remember is turns my uh, altitude hold on. Uh, now how do I get it go back to center? Let's take a look at that. I have to create another entry here, and that's altitude to off. It looks the same except for it's got a control O, but it's not the same. It's uh, you have to click here to see, and whenever you define it, you'll see this off show. A shortcut is invoked only when all buttons are released. Well, what buttons? Well, this button, as by, as by definition right here. And so, voice attack is capable of seeing whenever you activate uh, a joystick uh, function, and uh, it knows where that switch, what position is in, it knows when it's released, and so that's what it can do. And just to, uh, to show you this one too, you'll notice that it does not have that box check, but this one does. And so that's why that works. Um, and if, if you have, uh, just like any of the controls, if you have um, buttons on joysticks map directly, and then you're trying to also call them from voice attack with keyboard commands that you know get some conflicting uh, action there so don't do that there you have it that's how I deal with it 